guitar and has a, a maple neck with an ebony board, jumbo frets, two humbuckers that are splittable with a coil tap, a three position switch, a tremolo. You tune it down here. It has a locking nut system up here. You use regular strings. You don't have to have double ball in the string. There's regular normal guitar strings. The ball goes in over here and then you wrap it around the tuner down here and turn this to tune it. Um, I'll show you more about that in a minute. But in general, this guitar has a lot of warmth to it. A lot of tonal variations that are available. Because it's got the dual humbuckers that are splittable into single coils. Um, and tone knob, volume knob, and then it all folds up, which is really cool. So you can tuck that in, you can fold this in, and now it's a shorter guitar. You can play it like that, or you can pull this out and play it. It's got a little more of an ergonomic feel to it. And I really like this part that comes out. This is kind of like your leg rest, adjustable leg rest, so when you're playing you can set your knee on that and sit on the couch and play it without a strap. Um, it works great. It has a locking trim. And uh, in the trim bar, I haven't stuck it in, but I'll show you that in a minute. So that's just, this is the new Giller model. It's a much, uh, much, much more affordable guitar. Very cool design. It weighs 6.7 or so pounds, less than 7 pounds. And it comes in a nice gig bag. And uh, it sounds pretty cool, as you can tell. <laughs> trim works great. It has a locking trim and you just insert the trim into the holder there like that. Press it down and it unlocks right there. You can see you can lock it in different positions. But the standard unlock position. The guitar has, uh, you tune it at the bottom here like a lot of um, headless guitars. Um, the bottom strings, the lower strings are pretty easy to loosen but sometimes a little harder to tighten. So they've included this ingenious little metallic tool that sticks right on the guitar and stays on there with a magnet. So if you want to change the pitch of that one, lower it, you can just lower it. You can grab it pretty hard. And I didn't even need it there, but you can basically then attach this tool into there and have a little more leverage to turn the knob. 
So you may or may not need it. I don't use it a lot, but if you're tuning or putting new strings on, then it might be helpful. Um, and if it's really stiff, then you can, you can use it. But otherwise, on the high strings, I don't use it at all. Sometimes I use it on the A and the E string. Really ingenious kind of trim. It free floats. And then you can push this in to lock it into place. And then it won't float. comes in this really cool nice little gig bag with the shoulder strap that you can attach to it and what I want to show you guys is how to change the string on it so you open it up so first off let's assume that let me flip it around so you can see it better let's assume that we broke a string uh oh the E string just broke so first step is Using the standard uh, Allen, Allen key, you loosen the locking nut at the top to the point where you can get the string out. Uh, all right, so that string is out. And it's got a little container there, and you push it out. Push it out through the hole. All right, so there's your back, back in the string. And then this side, you can see that it's wrapped around the tuner, which is down here. So I'm just going to unscrew it and get the string loose. All right, there we go. So it just came loose. So we removed the string, the old string. Now we're going to take the new string and put it on. So get my new E string out here. And one of the secret cool parts of this guitar is what's happening up here in the headstock. There's a special little uh, pick compartment where you can store picks and things. That slides in there just like that. It comes out. You don't really need to take that out to change the strings, but I did. Push it into that hole. And then it comes through. And you grab it and pull it through. And then you can uh, finger tighten this lo this locking nut down a little bit, and now we'll we'll get it tuned up. So it tunes right here. You can see there's like a, a, a gear that you wrap wrap the string around, and this is the tuning knob for it. So you can find there's a little hole in the gear. So once you have the string through the hole, then you just basically going to cut it here, a couple inches behind where it needs to be and then insert it in the hole just like a standard kind of tuning peg as and you start cranking it all right so we're getting close to the end here it's starting to tighten up and and there we go <laughs> 